Musto 006, we're back for part 9 of Jingle Jam. Uh, last time we completed the 11th stage uh, Mega Kid, which was a mini-game section. There was a little platforming bit at the beginning, um, which was mostly okay, except for the last bit, which can screw off. <laughs> Jump ice physics and a trap at the end, really. Um, the mini-games were, I say, okay, if nothing remarkable. There was, a, there was a reasonably silly question, which I somehow lucked out on, <laughs> figured out after the fact, just by staring at my keyboard. The rest were okay, um, but um, yeah, a colour matching one, which was a bit difficult for me being, you know, my colour recognition and everything like that being a bit tricky, but um, oh well. The maze one at the beginning was, was okay, sort of did his second go right in a pinch as well, and the boss was, uh, again, fine if nothing remarkable. So um, yeah, it was it was an okay stage, but nothing nothing particularly stellar, unfortunately. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's move on to the next stage. Uh, the password for that is ho ho. Honal? Okay. Uh, Master Maxify. Cool. Don't freeze, game. <laughs> okay, so let's try. Oops, whoops, whoops, whoops. Let's try and let's try and save so we can just fall straight into the teleporter. Okay, fine. Oh God, it's the uh, well. Okay, I get the ho 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 honal reference now. It's a reference to the colonel. I really. Well, hopefully this is considerably easier than the original version of this fight. Because <laughs> if it isn't, I question whether I'll ever do it. <laughs> okay, so we are presumably as well literally just going to have an avoidance. I mean, we did have we did have such a one with the second stage with the snow glow. That sucked. With the um, my dodging, not the thing. <laughs> um. Yeah, the, the, the snow globe one, so we've had that. And we've had other avoidance bosses as well. Admittedly, we were in with stages as well, so... Uh, but, uh, yeah, the snow globe one, the second stage, was, I think, the only one so far that's been... Or other one, of course, now, that's been just an avoidance. I'm assuming this is literally all we're going to have. Um, but, um, never know, I guess. But uh, I, have a, I have a feeling. If we're going straight into, into this, it would be a bit odd to have a platforming section afterwards. <laughs> Oh god. Okay, so okay, so that was meant to be an arrow or something telling me that it's that things were gonna go down. Okay. I mean now I know that anyway, that's fine, but uh so that wasn't what that wasn't that wasn't my immediate thought when I saw that thing spawn in. Whoa! Okay, okay, that's actually not something I can yeah. <laughs> Avoid. Fortunately, it's not like the bell thing at the end of stage, was it three? Echo masks one, where I've got uh an extra hit point, so yeah, one hit and I'm done. Oy. Trying to gauge from the music how long I think this might be. That's a oh! how long I think this might be. Hmm, Mike, don't think I'm going to have an awful lot to say in terms of commentary on this again. As I rarely do with, avo with, with avoidances. Particularly since I felt like I got through a fair chunk. Or got through a reasonable amount there. Only for that attack to sort of come a little bit out of nowhere. And be a bit meh. To try and avoid. In all honesty. It's like they, they sort of like were swirling around initially. And then... Then then went away, but then came in again really quickly, swirling. And it seemed like there wasn't much space to avoid. Again, maybe I got unlucky just with the pattern there. I'm assuming this isn't, like, set. And it's... Um, obviously, the attacks themselves are going to be the same. But I'm assuming the exact... Maybe maybe they are. I don't, I don't know. I, I feel, I'd feel a bit... I feel it's a bit bizarre if this was completely set and everything went in the same place every time. But, yeah, like this. I don't know where the best place to be is. The middle... Feels like the only reasonable place to be for this. Uh, green is good. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, and I can move. I can move through them. Do Do I have to know in advance which side to be on? Or hmm. I hope not. Although, admittedly, I obviously could try and do what I just did previously there, although whether I'll remember exactly where I moved to each time there, I'm not sure. Eek. 
I'm assuming all these little snow, these tiny little particles, snowflakes, whatever as well, are actually going to kill me. So, trying to stay clear of literally everything here. And doing an absolutely goddamn awful job of doing so. What can I say though? Avoidances. They're just, there are, there are things where, or like gaps and, and, and movements that I think I can make. And I, and, I, and, I, and I ultimately can't, that kind of catch me out. That again felt like really clumsy. I felt like there was one, it was like a snowball rather than a snowflake, if that sort of makes sense. One of the bigger particles that kind of, wow, um, caught me out there. But I was trying to outrun it or so, but obviously there came a certain point where that wasn't the, wasn't the thing to do. And I should have backtracked and tried to get out of that, get out of that, get out of it, you know, that way. But no, I felt I could outrun it, but apparently not. And I forgot that they bounce for some stupid reason. <laughs> That's also another annoying, annoying thing you have to factor into this. Is that, yeah, it's not just like literally avoiding a rain of projectiles from the sky. And that's that. I also have to contend with the fact that the snowballs, at least in this first phase, I couldn't remember whether they actually did in other ones. I don't think they did. But I might be wrong about that. I guess we'll find out when I next come back to it. But, um, yeah, I've also got to contend with the fact that some things do bounce. Oh my god, that felt ridiculously lucky. Oh, they're coming down! Gee whiz, that pattern was rubbish. <laughs> I've somehow avoided it. I guess it can't have been that rubbish because I still avoided it, but good grief. <laughs> it just seemed like it was an absolute row of, row of projectiles, like straight above my head. Okay. I was about to say it's all like back to needing to concentrate or something like that, but you know, I, not like I'm not concentrating on the bits and pieces, but I'm conscious the swirling attack is a bit is coming up uh, soon, and I don't like that one, this one, I don't like this at all. Okay, so being in the middle is obviously a help. Maybe that's what I need to do, actually. Maybe I need to, but no, there can't be. Okay, thankfully the, 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 the pillar doesn't go all the way. And yeah, okay, this is different. This, that wasn't where they positioned last time, so it's not completely set in stone. Uh, the same exact thing every time. Do these ones bounce? No, they don't bounce. Okay. So that, I can at least not have to worry about that this time. Unfortunately, where they spawn in is completely reasonably random. They kind of, again, they're sort of spawning out, you know, eight at a time or so in a, in a direction, but I can't tell exactly where from where they're going to spawn in. So the higher, the better, obviously, because it gives me more time to react to them and see where they're coming from, but not always going to be the case. Oh, God. Wow, this looks very space invadery. <laughs> and awesome, actually. Okay, this th this attack actually looks fr friggin' awesome. Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Did I need to manipulate this somehow so that it wasn't... Okay, no. Am I shooting that? Oh, no! I am shooting at it. It's got a health bar. Okay. Okay, but one of those went off the um, one of those shards went off the uh, on the left hand side of the screen and it went uh, and uh, I didn't have to dodge anything from it. And you're going completely vertically. It's like one of the, that one on the left hand side. Well, the one on the right is also going. Okay, it's not going to completely crash out. That's a bit of a shame. But um, you're going completely vertically, which makes obviously. Predicting where you're going to be, maybe not. Maybe not completely vertically. Maybe I have that. I know that's slightly wrong, but in terms of like attacking it and, and, and dealing. Oh no, no! I have to deal with another one. Okay, so I do not want to die now. Please, 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 please. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, the pattern, the timing now is so blare that I didn't have time to get any hits in that go. I'm going to go for it this go. Hopefully that's it. It is it. Okay, cool. Well, that didn't take that long at all then. Fan fantastic. Okay, looking at my um, dictaphone, and we've only been going nine and a half minutes or so recording total. So it was about a minute and a half introduction or so. So only eight minutes or so. Okay, cool. That was that was um, not too tricky. There were a couple attacks there. Was it the swirling one? Was one I mentioned I didn't like. But beyond that, um, and beyond the one, the time where I was moaning, oh, I shouldn't have gone for that movement. I was trying to do too much there, Blair. But uh, yeah, beyond that, that was uh, the rest of it was actually done um, first go. So not a lot there that was actually that tricky uh, at all, to be honest. And um, yeah, I don't say I don't have an awful lot to say about it, to be honest. It seems like a reasonable standard avoidance kind of fare. And um, yeah, thankfully not too tricky. 
Um, particularly when I obviously saw the, the kernel there, I was a bit worried it could be quite, quite tricky. <laughs> but uh, no, not the case. If I'm, if I'm doing an avoidance um, for the first time blind in eight minutes or so, then um, I will, I, yeah, most cases, unless of course it's noticeably, ridiculously easy, I will bite your hand off <laughs> for eight and a half minutes for an avoidance. So, uh, yay, cool. Well, we've only been going ten minutes or so, so we will definitely do another stage. So, uh, let's press on. And the password for this one is uh, unfortunate uh, hockey. Yes. Okay, random Eric. Let's see what you've got. Okay, liking the music. Okay, we have got a... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, possibly a trap section. Uh, yep, <laughs> possibly a trap slash troll section. Okay, that might be a bit of a thing. I'm assuming that's a gap, is it? No, no pit there. And straight to the first save. Okay, cool. Or well, the second one, I suppose, if you don't count the one we were right on right at the beginning. Well, actually, we didn't have to move to the right to get the save, didn't we? Okay. I'm like, yeah, liking the music. Liking the look of this look, look of this place. I feel like, though, we might have a bit of a... Uh, okay. A trap slash troll section, though. So, okay. Oh, wow. They're actually having a, they're actually having a game of hockey here. And you're going to score. Nice. <laughs> Okay, that's fantastic! That is not fantastic! What the hell is that? <laughs> okay, yeah, we have definitely got something of a trap slash troll section. Okay. Um, they're never, admittedly, my absolute favourite, but I guess we'll see how it pans out um, with, what's, with, yeah, with what goes on here. Does that effectively create a... So am I supposed to go down here? Or did, did the net not kill me? No, the net doesn't kill me. Okay. And I've got to just check. I'm assuming this is death. Oh, no, it's just solid uh, ground that I can stand on. Okay. And that's just out of cur sheer curiosity. I cannot shoot you. Okay, fine. Things that I probably all should have tried out beforehand, but, um... <laughs> oh, well, we'll do it after the fact and establish the ground rules when they're completely unnecessary. Oh, wow. Okay. Assuming like a shooting at you does going to do nothing, so it's basically have to avoid these uh, projectiles that are coming out. But at least they are reasonably predictable, I think. Not that helps me any. <laughs> uh, necessarily. Okay, and obviously the sprite of you and yourself actually kills me as well. Well, that was obviously to be expected. Wow. That's gonna. Oh no! It disappeared. Okay, but that jump there is was was horrible. Not the jump. Not the jump itself. My attempt at it. Wow! I cannot get past the first like few jumps of this bit. I need to be doing so much better at this. Good grief! Oh god! I heard a noise. What's happening? And now I'm screwed. Okay, so as soon as I get to that point in time, I am going to need to rush for it because if you're going to start firing them out, why is that jump so difficult for me? Oh my god, really? Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to need to start rushing. I, I can't believe that. Um, because, yeah, if you're going to start shooting them out in a, in a, in a continuously, I'm going to need to motor. And I cannot make that, so I got lucky there. I'd like to get out of here if possible. I really would. Oy! Nothing else, please. Thank you. Okay. Okay, this is obviously trap, he trap kind of heavy, troll heavy, but nothing is like saves a reasonably well spread out. Nothing is like yeah, a huge lengthy section. Nothing is ridiculous. There are certain things that you could even actually not that I could see, not that I could see them coming, but can react to once they happen. So obviously that thing falling down there at the end, at the bottom, at the end there. I was a bit worried I was going to have to go underneath it with projectiles coming down, which might have been a bit tricky and could have caught me off completely if I got screwed over. But no, actually, it's actually kind of kind in that respect, where the thing actually disappears off screen downwards and they've had, had enough time to react to it. So cool. Uh, cold tum. Warm and comfy. Tomb, is that meant to be? Cold tomb? Anyway. I want to be warm and comfy, please. That is a wall. <laughs> I need to go down. And, uh, hmm, how am I going to do that? I have to do that? Okay, the timing just so happens to work out there if I rush from the beginning. But I'm not going to have one of those enemies in the way, I think. 
If that is the case, that would be really that would be really lovely. So I would not not do not really want to have to think about having to time this out. Yes, that does seem to work. Okay, nice. Getting past that though is a bit huh? not quite sure on the timing for how I'm going to get through that because you come down bloody quick and I and I don't really fancy trying to jump through you and the and the and the oh there's a gap there's, there's an extra time there and that doesn't kill me okay I need to wait here as well and see so was it was it just those two there that come out very quickly one after the other that kind of catches me out I don't know I'm not quite sure on the timing here for when these things spawn in. And I can't jump over you either, so, hmm. Okay, this has got me a little bit um, flustered. Not quite sure what to do here. Again, I might try shooting you. No. I suppose I can save some time by doing that. Uh, but that doesn't, okay, but that's not a safe spot in the bottom court, in the, in the uh, hugging the wall there. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely an extra one there in quick succession, but not any more. Okay, so we have to go past you like that then. Let's wait for you to spit one out and then go. And yes, cool. That's not floor. Okay, good to know. <laughs> not even really good to know. Good to know. Should have just paid attention. And can we not get caught on that block, please? Thank you. Okay, I think that's going to be the best way to get past you there. Okay, I see what I'm going to have to do here. That's a bit nasty, though. Time wise, timing wise. Everything else here seems to work out uh, reasonably nicely, though. Okay, I just need to wait there a bit, actually, and wait for you to drop. Okay. Do you go to the. No, okay, that's a safe spot as well. Good. Okay, we'll just wait for you to pass by, and then we'll jump into the easiest spike in the stage thus far to avoid, probably, or one of them. <laughs> oh, dear me. I have no excuse for that whatsoever. No trap, please. Good. Warning, RNG. My favourite... Thing ever. Having said that, this doesn't seem that tricky at all. I can live with that kind of RNG. I saw that spike coming, and unfortunately, I can't live with that kind of RNG, where I get screwed over by the sp spike happening to be right over on the right-hand side, where I need to land to back to get a safe spot. Are you joking me with that timing? Okay. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, I did just get screwed over. In fact, I think I'm screwed over now entirely as well. I'm going to have to do that because, because of where that spike actually goes. Um, I should have paid attention to that last go, actually, not just reset immediately without, without, without looking. I'm going to have to pull that off, obviously, and get up there uh, straight away because, uh, yeah, obviously the spike is actually going to block my path entirely. So can't do that. Can't hang about. I'm going to have to go straight away, which is actually fine. Okay, cool. I'm liking this stage for it being a trap um, troll based one. I am liking this stage a lot. I can't. I can sh I can't shoot you. Okay. Oh, okay. Now I'm gonna have to use your use your use you to actually um, get over here. Do it? No, I, no, I do use. I do. I shoot. Do it. Wow. Is that how how they work? Shoot you when you turn around, or do you automatically turn around? I'm kind of curious on that one, actually. No, I think I, I think I actually have to. I think I shoot, uh, shoot you to, to make you turn around. Okay. No, okay. Interesting. Nice. Wow. This is uh, this is really nice. I'm just having a lot of fun with this with this area so far. This is fantastic. Okay, yeah, getting past that bit with the wind's not so bad at all. Pulling off that jump apparently is. It's not the easiest what fair thing in the world. Um, what? Uh, okay, my game deselected there. That's why that happened. If you yeah, if it looked if it looked like I just yeah like because I was confused there. I just stopped moving to the left and landed on the spike. The reason being, and then I tried to obviously just restart and it wouldn't have it. So yeah, my uh, game deselected there. Uh, so yeah, I'm, that one was not my fault at all. <laughs> 
<laughs> that one was, and any other ones have been entirely my fault. But uh, yeah, there's at least one death there. But I'm saying, no, I'm, I'm, I'm completely unaccountable for that. I got screwed over. Yeah, just literally just stopped moving to the left <laughs> for no reason whatsoever. I was like, I'm, I know I'm holding the button down. That, both those jumps there are actually kind of annoying. I can't do anything fancy yet. Yeah, that's too high like that. So yeah, there's no way I'll be able to shortcut that. But um, yeah, I don't like, I don't like either of the jumps here actually. To be honest. Okay, I'm assuming that stuff's just going to kill me. So and all the frost breath or whatever it is. So yeah, we get past it. And yeah, cool. We get past that first go. Don't have to worry about that uh, slightly annoying section anymore. It's a bit difficult to tell. What? Wait, hang on, okay. Okay, so it is, a, it, it is actually a death immediately. Like, I can't, it's, you know, it, I can't, like, unfreeze from it. Okay, so that's that's interesting. So I actually did have to get completely past it. Um, wow. Um, yeah, I can't, uh, like, you know, hammer a jump button, shoot button or something like that to get past. So, yeah, it is, a, yeah. Uh, oh, God. Oh my goodness, what? The window of opportunity I had to get through that is almost ludicrous. Okay, that's fine there. I need to, I need to wait for one cycle there for that to sort of uh, go away. This, on the other hand, looks like I need to predict when it's going to... Yeah, that's not a lot of time at all. And I still died, what? I got caught in the ice, huh? Did I? Wow. I really got caught in the ice there? Didn't look like it at all. Maybe, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, what? Oh my god, really? Hmm. That's an annoying jump you have to make there. I obviously got I obviously went uh, deliberately went a bit high there to get out of the range of the of the wind so that I could get a little obviously further over to the left, but man. Yeah, that's a little bit that that drop there. The, the other ones were fine. Uh, that drop there though is just a, is a teensy bit annoying. Um so I feel like I've got to go very bloody quick to get through that. Or got to time that very 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 nicely. Um, right off the, you know, initially on the drop down to get through. That was so dumb. It's an interesting uh, gimmick, though. Well, I death, so should I say, rather than a uh, gimmick, a way of dying. Yeah, because I want to, I want to, I want to double jump there to stall out, so I don't get. Because I think what happened the go where I was very surprised, I probably got caught on the very tail end of the breath, or whatever it is. Um, when I was moving to the left, falling down. So, yeah. Okay. This doesn't kill... It does kill me! That would have been good to have tested out uh, earlier. So I didn't die there, obviously. I would have known to avoid it. So I wasn't quite, I was quite sure. I hadn't actually... I don't think I touched... There. I don't think I touched one before. So, um... Yeah, that was a, that would have, that would have been good to have known uh, from an earlier point of view. Also, I would have died uh, uh, sooner, uh, earlier. But, uh, yeah... Knowing that that is a death, or I need to avoid that, is, um, yeah, would have been handy to have known. Oh well, we know now. Unfortunately, it means I've got to pull, pull that off again, and, and that is a very deceptive jump, because I'm trying... Excuse me? Uh, okay. I'm trying to... Um, be in the air out of range of the wind for as long as possible there to try and get no, no, no see I don't like that drop um, to try and get a, a bit more leftward momentum, direction uh, but in doing so as, as, as happened or, or, yeah, on the go I got the furthest a, a bit recently um, I uh, dang it, I don't like that drop um, I uh, went, ran into the spike because I was trying to get too far, or get, get a little bit further over to the left. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's going to be kind of annoying, trying to stunt my movement to the left. Oh god, that felt too early. Oh! 
Oh, I need to. Oh my God, no! I need to. No, no, I need. No, I'm, I, I can turn. I can. I can. Sh I can um, shoot you on solid ground. Um, when up yeah, on the on the other side. I don't have to make a jump. I think at least anyway. I shouldn't have to jump round. Uh, jump over you, then shoot, uh, and, and, and then turn around and shoot you. I'm hoping I can just shoot you. Uh, right off the bat, and you'll turn around there because I do not want to be jump, single jumping over you, turning around, shooting you, and then in that same, pretty much that same movement, um, double, uh, yeah, uh, double jumping over. Wow! Please make it up there, and please no trap. Cool. Okay, that was getting a little bit frustrating that last save there. That was considerably more difficult than anything else we've done so far on the stage. So, but uh, anyway, oh god, boss time. Does Okay, so, I, yeah, I was thinking, like, the, the things that are falling down, like the white snowflakes weren't actually going to kill me or anything like that, but, yeah, the, uh, I can't kill, whoa, what? Wait, what? So, the, wait, wait, what? I'm confused as to what's actually, um, hitting me, or what I can, what, what is a hitbox here? So, so, you are not a hitbox, or are you? You are a hitbox, what? What happened to go, I, um... Um, felt like I just ran right into you. What? Yeah, that would, yeah. I, I, okay, okay. So maybe, so maybe I can get away with like touching a teensy bit of you, um, but not, yeah, not you, the, f the full you. <laughs> I don't know. I think, I'm a bit confused by what the what the hitbox or the hitbox on on you is, but um, oh well. It seems like um, I can shoot those things. It seems like the wind, for some weird reason, is like blocking the shots. I'm not quite sure how that how that's working. I'd really like to take you out. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like with wind in play. I can't actually attack you. I I, hmm. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of a way of a, of a sort of a reason to explain that away with like the wind. Knocking the bullets back. Yeah, that's what they're doing. I can actually see that's what what's happening now as well. Okay, I did not appreciate that before. That's a nice. That's a really nice touch. Um, to see. Yeah, they're, they're they're coming back. Yeah, they're coming back on me. Okay. So I need to actually. Yeah. Okay. Forget when the, when the, in during the wind attack. I need to forget about attacking you or the, the main boss. And I need to actually just focus on attacking the uh, um, the things coming from either side of the screen. Actually, if I can. The only problem with that is again they're going in a, they're going in a direction behind me. So appreciating where the where the bullets are going to go, so like I can't just shoot one in fact at me. I need to shoot well, yeah I need to sort of shoot shoot behind or shoot the ones that are coming that are, that are behind me because obviously the wind's going to loop round and make them go in the other, other direction. That's a bit annoyingly placed there. Oh new attack. Uh, that isn't that tricky to avoid. Unless I just lucked out there. That was so dumb. I just I jumped up into the into the star as it was about to split apart into all these projectiles and yeah, that was really really stupid. This is the attack of uh, my least liked attack though by far because I don't really see a good way necessarily of avoiding it when stuff like that happens. Obviously, just need to be on the ground and maybe not try and attack you or something like that. But even so, they are, they are very they are very random, and that one lingered on screen for absolute eternity that I did not see. Oh, wait. Yeah, this I don't like this this this. So let me get out all my thoughts. They're like, I you know, I don't like this star attack particularly. <laughs> don't like is maybe going a bit is maybe going a bit too strong here. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm not a fan of the wind one either because it just um. I feel like even just trying to attack anything in that is is a pain, because the, because the projectiles like I'm trying to aim at something that's coming at me in the direction it's coming at me, but it's never going to reach. I'm never going to never going to get it because I'm yeah. I need to, it's having the presence of mind to turn around to attack you or something. That was a bit unfortunate there. I got screwed over right on the right hand side of the ledge there, um, where I just felt like I where it looked like I had no room to get out of the way of anything there. Oi. You have a lot of health as well. This is going to take longer to do than the pure avoidance one. I have absolutely no doubt about that. If it hasn't already, and that's something else I'm worried about, you just sort of making a sharp movement like that and completely screw me over. 
And I got caught by a star there that I didn't even see. That would linger on the screen for an absolute eternity. Yeah, like to, to, yeah, to, 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 and and that and that point and that time they didn't they didn't go backwards. Was was the wind over by that point in time? But yeah, it's such a weird feeling to try and aim at something that's yeah that's behind me. So I have to I have to go in the opposite direction. And yeah, after a certain amount yeah obviously after a certain amount of time the wind the wind uh, d d uh, goes away, and at that point in time I need to appreciate that I actually need to fake, turn around and actually shoot in the correct direction. So oi. There is so much to pay attention to here. And I am so screwed. I am so lucky. <laughs> oh. Okay, doing good, this go. I'm kind of hoping this might be the one. I'd love it if you, at this point in time, you actually transitioned literally just into these attacks. No, you don't. Now, unfortunately, I'm in a terrible position here for that. Oh, God, what? Can I? No, I've used my double jump now as well. <laughs> That's not good. Thankfully, though, the pattern there wasn't so bad at all. I have got a double jump to save myself, so that's... But it doesn't do very much. Good grief. Okay, I'm hoping one more. Not a ridiculously annoying pattern. Yes. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, getting a little bit frustrated on the boss. I don't really know why, because it probably only took about eight minutes or so anyway. Maybe the, maybe the curl took longer, I don't know. I feel like, they trying to say, felt like they took around about the same time-ish. Um, so I couldn't tell you off the top of my head which one which one was longer, but um, okay, that was that was that was okay. Um, yeah, once I got to the point where I was actually um, well, you did the spike attack like uh, the, 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 and the and the box the present attack or the box attack so many times in session. I'm not sure if that is a set thing that happens when you're getting down to like half health or something or whatnot. Anyway, but those attacks are the two easiest to avoid by a mile. <laughs> so and I got really lucky in that fight. There was a time I said there I was so screwed because I was like. Didn't even know which way to face to try and deal with the wind attack. I had so many coming on the bottom. I somehow got out of it. I have no idea how. Pure reactionary uh, instinct. Like, yeah, it's just so much, you know, so much to get out of it. But, um, yeah, the, 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 the one with the, the laser one with the stars sort of split apart, well, I think was definitely the most difficult one. Some of them I couldn't even see. I actually was finding it really difficult to actually see. It's sort of the background. Like, all well, the, the, the um, merge in with the background kind of, kind of a bit annoyingly. But, um... Yeah, and, and that wind attack, it's really difficult to, to appreciate which way, which direction to shoot. When the wind's in play, and something's coming at me, I want to turn around and shoot, so the bullets will then go behind it to attack. But then, yeah, I need to have the presence of mind to appreciate when that stops happening, and I then need to turn around and shoot the other ones that are coming at me, where the bullets are not going to go in the opposite direction. So that's a bit of a thing to get your head around. But um, other than that, the attacks actually were um, fairly straightforward. Yeah, the presence one was, was fine, for the most part, and the spike one was actually okay. And that last one, obviously, where you get caught in the laser and you have to, do, do, to dodge the spikes, or put it slowly falling down, no problem whatsoever. So no problem with that. Yeah, that was a really good stage. I enjoyed I enjoyed the, um, the platforming bit a lot. That last save before the boss was getting a little bit tricky, but other than that, it was a really nice stage. So um, yeah, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that quite a lot. And I even sure you enjoyed the the avoidance we had before it, so in Master Maxi Ma Maxify stage. So yay, cool. Two stages done, just over half an hour play or whatever. So yay, I'm happy with that. Back to two stages now. I've gone out of my order of being two one two one two one. I then went one one, unfortunately. But we're back to two now. So who knows? Maybe maybe uh, <laughs> Chris A's um, Chris A's admittedly was quite a long one. Um, but um, yeah, obviously though the last two we just done are quite short. So um, yay. In fact, I probably could have even done Master uh, Maxi Maxify's one after Mega Kid, but I had no idea it was going to be just a you know. Eight, and what's turned out to be an eight-minute avoidance, but um, oh well. Yeah, we're back to doing two stages at a time. We'll see how many we can do next time. One, definitely, hopefully two. Let's be optimistic. Anyway, hope to see you for that. But until then, cheerio.